Hello, welcome back to my channel. What if I told you that you can build full-fledged web applications on your local machine using AI-powered coding assistance? Sounds futuristic, right? Well, today I'll show you how you can integrate DeepSeek Coder model with Bolt.diy to generate and run web applications locally with no cloud dependencies and no waiting. If you love learning coding, AI and automation, this video is for you. So let's dive in. As part of today's video, I will be showing you what is DeepSeek, how to access DeepSeek, how to install Bolt.diy on your local machine, how to generate access key for a DeepSeek model and build different applications and deploy it on dev and testing it out. With no further delay, let's jump and let's get started. Let's start by understanding what is DeepSeek. DeepSeek is similar to ChatGPT. It's a uh, it's an AI model driven company. It's a Chinese company to start with, focused on developing advanced AI technologies and practical applications to enhance productivity. It's pretty similar to what ChatGPT does, but a Chinese version. With that said, let's access DeepSeek. Let me click start now and now because I have my Google account linked to it. I'm going to just use my Gmail to connect to it. Deepseek.com will bring you here. So now that we are here, let's try to ask something. Let me ask the different models which are available in Deepseek, which is give me a list of all Deepseek models. So Deepseek has different models. Uh, so the one which uh, is being used here is R1 which is a reasoning model. If you see, it took 23 seconds for to give a response. And if you see, when I have asked the question, the model is questioning itself for the accurateness. It's reasoning every step of its answer to give a better response. And it's showing me a DeepSeek R1 and uh, different, ma there are mathematic models which are available. So it's kind of accumulating its response and it has given me a consolidated response of uh, general purpose large language models uh, for chat it has deep seek uh, chat for a mixture of experts it has moe for coding it has deep seek coder for math it has deep seek math and r1 is something which is pretty famous right now because the kind of uh, buzz it has created and the kind of use case it has for this demo we are using deep seek coder which will be used to build different web applications uh, in as part of this demo with that said let's jump further and we understood what is deep seek we access deep seek let's install bolt.diy to do that bolt has introduced this github page where i can go and download the installable and run it on my local i'll show that how we can do it let's see what are the instructions which we have to run because i have node installed on my machine I'm going to use this one. If you have Docker, you can use the Docker instructions. I'm using Node version because it's kind of slightly lighter compared to that. All I have to do run is these three instructions and the development environment will be ready. Uh, I will also show you how you can download the installable. I'll just scroll up on the same page and there is this download button. You'll be able to download that on your local. I have clicked on this and I have downloaded it. So I have the download available, I extracted it and this is the directory it generated. These are the different files are there which as part of that extraction. You don't need to worry about what it contains. Just download it, extract it and let me open the terminal and go to that Bolt directory. So it is on my desktop learning. You can keep it wherever you want, wherever you have sufficient space, keep it there and then just access it to uh, you know run those commands i'm going into the directory where i have placed the extraction learning bolt bolt dot diy is what my extracted directory is here i have to execute those commands which we saw on that git page i'm going to put this link for, to this page on in, in the description so it's easy for you to access i copied the first command which is npm install hyphen g pnpm so this is going to install certain packages uh, all we are doing is installing certain packages which are necessary to run this on our development environment. Let me go back to the page and fetch the next command which should be uh, 
pnpm install this installs some project dependencies which are needed for running this on local pretty straightforward nothing fancy uh, even anyone who has access to this should be able to run it you just need to have a decent machine let's go back and get the next command which is starting the dev environment uh, pnpm run dev this should run or start the development bolt.diy on your local environment in my previous videos you would have seen that we were running this on uh, you know in the cloud but here we can run this on local and this should uh, deploy this on your machine and you should get a local host URL which is accessible and you can use that so if you see HTTP localhost 5174 is the port on which this is active let me access this from my browser and you should be able to see that bolt.diy should be running on your local let me do localhost 5174 hit enter and you will see that bolt.diy started loading so you have a development environment running on your local and something which you can see here is you can access different models here all the llm models which are there in market today you can access that from here if you see anthropic cohere deep sea google grok you name it every model is accessible here so this is an api driven approach where you can use access keys to those models and you can run them on your local here for our demo here we'll be using deep six coder model and i'll show you how you can get the access keys in a bit so we have installed bolt.diy on our local now we have to understand how to generate deep six access key for that i'm going to go to the deep seek website and i'll be looking for platform.deepseek.com i have loaded two dollars uh, for the usage right now they have disabled it i don't think you need it just for testing out i had loaded a couple of dollars if you come to platform.deepseek.com you will have the api keys page uh, you can uh, for promotional purposes they have some uh, you know limit on you know, the amount of uh, requests you can send don't worry about that just click on api keys once you are on platform.deepseek.com uh, I'll delete I'll be deleting the existing key which I had I'm creating a new key for you API keys and create a new key here give a name I'm going to give bolt DIY because I'm going to use it for bolt so I'm just giving a specific you can give anything just for um, having reference I'm giving bolt.diy and click on create API key copy this key I'm going to delete this key once I have this demo is done so you won't be able to use this you have to generate your own key and you have to run it click done copy that key come here and update that key come into bolt.diy and put that key for deep seek deep seek coder say yes now that key is loaded now you should be able to use that model from bolt.diy we generated the access key let's go and kick start our application development for the first demonstration let's try to build a to-do list app where i can track my day-to-day -day activities so this is just to see how bolt.diy is going to utilize the deep seek model to build a simple app a to-do list app uh, which you might have in your phone a uh, similar app is going to be built just i just gave that command and hit enter now ai is doing its magic in the sense deep seek is doing the magic here where it is building or generating the code which is necessary to build a to-do list app anyone can do this there is no literally you need to just have understanding of how to read and write english and you should be able to generate that if you see in, within bolt using deep seek we have generated the code which is necessary to run this uh, build this application uh, let me refresh uh, this should get loaded in a bit within minutes it has generated this code and the to-do list app should be coming up just in a moment so the idea here is how you can simplify this development process and how you can convert all those ideas you have into you know applications see this is the app which got generated i want to fetch eggs i want to pay my insurance uh, bills and i also want to file my uh, 
taxes let's say uh, right so all this just within minutes we have generated this code and we were able to build this application running on your local absolutely plain and smooth right with that said we can also push this code to github we can also uh, you know uh, take this code further so you can also publish that onto github and stuff like that so this is one simple app we completed let me start a new chat here and now i want to build the snake game app which we used to have in the 2000s in our nokia phone so a interesting implementation here build me a snake game like app or snake game uh, which we used to have on our nokia phones during the 2000s right i just want to build see if this can help me build an application like that in the sense like you know the idea here is whatever idea you have you should be able to convert that into a web application that is the idea behind uh, this particular uh, you know uh, usage of deep seek coder all we are doing here is that command is being consumed by the deep seek coder llm and it's generating the code necessary for building that application so ai is pretty much generating all the code which was needed for building that application that is happening right now if you see uh, all the necessary code got generated and if i start this application i should be able to play the snake game if you see it got loaded uh, i'm seeing a pop up let me say okay done perfect right so what do you think this is just a scratching the surface of what you can do with ai powered coding and local first development tools like you know on your local you are building this application and see this snake app got generated well all i have to say here is if you found this helpful please smash that like button subscribe and drop a comment whether you liked it you disliked it whatever it is like you know and help me understand what you want to build next and i'll be happy to do that i will leave the links which are necessary in the description so you can take it further from here and build uh, this on your local exactly how we did it here if this is something which help you uh, also share this with your friends so that we can you know uh, enhance this knowledge with others as well with that said that's a wrap i'll see you in my next lecture until next time keep building and keep coding